Schmatzy, I got a big old box to play in, baby! No. Schmatzy, don't go blue with this joke, okay? It's just a setup that's beneath you. Hey, help, help me crack this bad boy open, okay? You can let your little psychotic imagination run wild with this box. This box thing. Uh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Okay. Uh, all right. I see a rug. I see a rug and oh. I see... Wait, how did I know what that was? Oh my gosh. It was what? almost like right inside of all of our heads. Did you hear that too, man, Daddy? What, Angela? Rug? Kaz? No, I got, no, I got nothing from that. He was like, I got nothing. Zero. Okay, well, you I... You tapped into something we don't know I about? I think yeah. I did. Did you understand? I got a. I got an overwhelming sense of dread. Ooh. Ooh, that's never and good. Said, okay. You need to look so around and take stock of your surroundings. Oh. That's, what I, that's why I said rug. All I right. got rug. Okay. Let's take a look around. Oh. Well, there's... Like very... I feel like I'm on the set of, like... Fast Times Ridgemont High yeah, if it was very, a Men in Black movie. Very high school. Ah, very nice. eight, yeah. 80s, 90s high school. Leg warmers. Yeah. Reeboks. Pastels. Kids. But aliens also are monsters. Yeah, a lot demons. of aliens. Are a lot those of demons. demons? Those what are those? Are, they could be demon aliens. Are aliens still rocking them Velcros, boy? Look at that. My Dude. little spidey senses are going here, guys. And I'm okay. feeling a bunch of Angelas and I see them over there. There's there's a whole crew of goth Angelas over there. Oh, you know? Is it Depeche Mode? I hear Depeche Mode. Oh, yep, God. definitely did some Depeche goth Mode. Angelas. This and is going to be tragic. Let's break over there heart. where the bangles are just screaming out, we see a bunch of mean girl Angelas. The bangles is what the mean girl Yeah, right? Yes, it is. I don't know I get See that. Yeah. How many bangles is too many bangles? I mean, uh, more than two. Is never, there, never enough. There's never, never enough. enough. And so never you like enough. look like the Michelin tire you guy. You basically oh, want so that your arms get lengthened like the African princesses <laughs> when they do those rings on their necks. You can tie your shoes without bending over. You want to be clicking yeah. around. If you can't notice, uh, they're they still got the bad hair. They still <clears throat> got the windbreakers. Still kick-ass windbreakers. Nice. But not uh, all of them are human. And like teal colors. But they're not humans. Yeah, they're actual devils and and You're orcs the only and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So it was, it was kind of that way back in middle school. I was kind of the only human. This looks like it's pre-86 because they're also wearing jeans. That's incredible. Look at them. Washed. Yeah, well, you know, they haven't learned. Washed jeans. Yeah, this is how everyone's yeah. dad looks. And, wow. Jeans are such a bad idea in Florida. Can we just admit that? I mean, why would you want to cover your junk in denim in this heat? Look at this. Kaz is uh, locking eyes with his crew. I mean, we're all wearing jeans, bro. What, like, what are you worried about, nerd? You're wearing pajama oh. pants. Oh, God. He's reverting back oh, to man. his jock past. Bro. Dude, bro. Oh, he just called me bra. Dude, bro. Uh, he's walking away. Listen, oh, my God. Bro. B-R-A-H. I've got three of them. handed him Oakley's. Oh, he's putting on Oakley's. Oh, oh God. God. I've got the, like, puka shell necklace. <laughs> oh, the hair gel. It just pops out of your skin. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just there. She's bra. doing the handshake. Oh, I've got, oh, oh my God. man. Hup, hup, hip, head up. That, oh. that is a very complex oh, handshake oh right God. there, man. They all knew it. They're there. all very exactly. proud. They all congratulated. You would know, brah. I don't know if they bowed or headbutted one another's nuts at the end. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they don't know. They're confused you would with their sexuality. Know. They don't know. <laughs> you would want to know, brah. You guys look super cool and very athletic. Thank you. <laughs> what and else what, is what nice? about Fritz over there? Oh, yeah, Fritz, Fritz yeah, where are yeah, so your We all got our own clans here going on. Our own clicks going on. Evidently, I'm a nerd. We got a jock over what here. Is that a sh- Angel's got two different clicks. That's how cool she is. She's got yes. goths and means. I'm covered. She's and you're just searching around. There's always. Oh, oh no. What do they call that? A shit? Is that a beeper? Oh god. What is that? Oh, I'm afraid. What has he got? Oh. oh. Fan nerds. I knew it. I should have known. Oh yeah. Of Everyone should have known. Were you in like a like a high school blues group or something? <laughs> like a bunch of high school blues nerds or something? I've never heard that one before. That That's was cool, though. That was really impressive. That was very pretty. Right. That was yeah. very pretty. It was nice. Oh, look, at they got their own thing now. Oh, wow. Wait, just, what that was that? I have no idea. Right. I just don't what want to ever see that? that again. I was just learning some tunes, you know. Uh, That's Beatles. how you learn tunes? Yeah, it's the it's the Beetle Geist, or as we like to be called, the uh, Beetle Juice horn section. Okay. Nice. Mm-hmm. nice. Well done. We had butternuts at, on the way out with our secret <laughs> handshake. Head butternuts. I've, I've said that just too, sounds weird. I've head butternuts. Much. I've said too much. Butternuts. 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 Butternuts.
Uh, what is that? that I don't sounded, know, but that's not serious. Some, sure. Something that more dramatic. Uh, like, 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 something that should be uttered to children, okay. honestly. Like, Probably. If that's where we're spo- what we're supposed to be in this. Situation. Guys, be cool. One of the goth angels is walking up. Oh, yeah, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. She's smoking a clothes right I know, she's, she's so, so cool, cool. She's so cool. <laughs> hey. Hi, hi, hey. hi, hi. Goth Angela. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello. I'm Fritz. This is Man Daddy. Cat is over here. Hey. And that's, uh, Howdy. Well, what, what's, what's that's, up? That's Angela. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, that's what the gods do. They just don't care. Yeah, I, do, I don't. So... I don't care. Shut up. <laughs> you having a, I, I guess, having a bad day, I hope? You don't have any book bag or books or anything. Uh, Angela. Um, yeah? Do you want to skip class and go smoke behind the atomic gym? Um, sure, that sounds great. This is a bad yeah, yeah, that can, can... Can we Can my friends to, go? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> these, hey. They come Stop doing that. with Sorry. us. We're not narcs. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? I, That's the number one thing a narc would say. <laughs> I, well, I, totally a narc thing. What? Oh, okay, you guys can come over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You okay, I guess fuck we got up. in. That's Christ almighty. Because they know how powerful I am, obviously. Did you hear that new Susie Sue song? Yeah, well, I've been listening to just Depeche Mode all day. Every album. All day. She's intense. Do you guys want to smoke some more cloves over there in the corner? I don't want to smoke any more cloves. I want to smoke real cigarettes. Do you guys know about that new kid? What new kid? Kid. Uh, new kid, you say? Who would that be? Is it is it like an Angela new kid? Or is it like kind of like, uh, you know... Um, are they in special classes? <laughs> hey, I was in special classes. I was too. <laughs> Human or what? <laughs> <laughs> you man, you're the new kid. I saw you with a weird ass afro and that craft cocktail mustache. Wait, you, uh, okay. you've been here yeah. before? Wait, what are you even talking about? Yeah, I don't. He's I, never had an afro. What a you craft that, cocktail I, I, mustache. I, I don't like have. The newsy I've never had hair. What does never, that even one. mean? I've never had a mustache. Like the yeah. swoopy, He's got like the, uh, the, the pacifist fart. beard. The, yeah, that's the pacifist beard. That's Thank the pacifist beard. Yeah. Is that yeah. what that's called? According so to Jack Phillips. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe he is the new guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been here before? No. Do you I, remember being well, here before? I don't know. Maybe. Um, Why would he be here? Yeah, how could he be here? I mean, you don't just he's show a up here. He's a strange individual. Like, I don't know Thank if he's you. been in, like. Strange right? is one thing, but intergalactic hopper? Could I mean, you, we're Yeah, can yeah. you see him actually deciding not? that himself and actually making the choice to come here knowing how to do that? And how would we grow, grow a mustache and then lose a mustache? You know, I mean, we're that's in pretty. space. What do you, like. <laughs> Yes, uh, space How things happen. Space change space with your stuff hair. happens. You don't know what happens. Just let in space, space stuff happens sometimes. You know. This is. You know what? It sounds to me like maybe he was here, but he forgot. He's he does. Again. He does forget things a lot. That, that, that's thing. that. Yeah, that's true. A lot that's of things. A lot of things. If we're going Occam's Razor. Thank you for reminding me. It's something I need to work on. Clearly, you guys have never heard of like an amnesiac fugue state. No. Good uh, Ooh, wait, album though from Radiohead. Fugue state. Like from uh, fugue? Breaking Bad. He, he had a, he a fake fugue. fugue. He, he fake fugued. fugued. He did he fake fugue. fugue. He fake yes, fugued. he got naked and went to a convenience store. Yeah, he fake oh. fugued it. Fugue faker. Yeah, that's pretty cool though. And it's Walter Whitey Tidies. Mm-hmm. Amnesia is a common trope in uh, like soap operas and various like you know daytime TV show kind of movies, and that like you know someone completely forgets a part of their life <laughs> or experience that is you know pertinent to. Uh, the development of the story and kind low of hanging creates, fruit exactly for for plot correct. So uh, usually it's it's uh, identified as kind of a fake phenomenon. People are like, oh, well, you're faking amnesia. You're like pretending to not remember these the account of this stuff. But there are several instances of uh, injuries to uh, neurology patients. People have brain injuries who are. Uh, incapable of remembering certain parts of their lives or you know, instances of, of the actual injury, etc. Uh, the best known is Henry Molaison, patient HM. Uh, 1953, he was 27 years old and underwent a surgery that led him to forget daily events nearly as fast as they occurred. So Ooh. he wasn't able to process essentially memories or information the way that we normally do. 
Um, so no short-term memory at all. To the point where he's like, what am I doing right now? What am I doing right now? Correct. His condition lasted until his death in 2008. Whoa. 1953 is when he underwent the surgery. That is nightmarish. Um, so he actually was very complicit in the studies of his memory, his brain, his blood chemistry, etc. And scientists actually learned a lot about amnesiac fugue states or amnesia. Um, a lot from patient HM or Henry Mollison. So did he know how to like clothe himself or do anything? I mean, I mean, was so he yeah, it was like, like an infant. I it mean, was within the like a few years of the within a few years of the actual surgery was like limited. His his memory was limited too. So it was, yes, he had like knew his family was etc. But there was anything new. Correct. He yeah. wasn't able to process this as like new information. It would always funnel out. Another big one, uh, I thought this one was interesting, Agatha Christie. You guys know Agatha Christie? Of yeah, wrote she wrote, uh, of, uh, and then there was none. She wrote some mystery she, novels. She also faked her own, like, I guess, fugue state because ah. they couldn't find her. So in 1926, she disappeared for 11 days and was discovered 200 miles from where her abandoned car had been. She claimed to have no recollection of what happened during that 11-day period. She had basically stuck to that story her entire life that she had no... Uh, recollection of what happened during that, that 11 days. Um, How convenient. She yeah. was located by her then husband, Archibald, who, quote, said, she suffered from the most complete loss of memory, and I do not think she knows who she is. She does not know me, and she does not know where she is. I am hoping that rest and quiet will restore her. Uh, scientists called what she, the, uh, her affliction, psychogenic amnesia, a rare condition that is psychological in origin and is usually displayed after some type of trauma. Um, mm. so they, maybe like PTSD kind of like correct. episode. So there are theories that perhaps it was had to do with the nature of the relationship with her husband and that there was something going on and that she potentially, uh, something traumatizing happened and she she blanked those 11 days out and 200 miles probably just as well <laughs> probably <laughs> yeah honestly oh uh this one kind of bothered me in 2005 a 38 year old british man referred to as h o h o yeah exactly hmo so this one says h o this one says w o and then it says w o later so let's go with w Woo! a patient a uh march <laughs> patient. for Woo! Patient, whoa. <laughs> patient, whoa. That's when, when Ric Flair went in. That's whoa. Yeah. He comes in, just chest slaps him. <laughs> oh. Those weird out of, out of body lungs. Lungs. Yeah, that Angela <laughs> commented on his effing lungs. So, 30 year old British man, W.O., uh, was apparently uh, in 2005 following a routine root canal was left unable to form new memories every morning since he wakes up believing it to be the day of his root canal in 2005. Oh, Jesus. Isn't that terrible? Of every all the day, days, it's, it's every day root. you wake up is my root canal? Oh, oh my God. Did, no. that, did that happen before or after his uh, procedure? Because that after. Would, uh, yeah, that would be weird if like maybe a, a nerve or something was stimulated that affected the, the... Is it the frontal lobe? So prior... Studies had discovered that the hippocampus. I was, was going to say the hippocampus. Mm. Damn it! Should have just said. It. What is <laughs> you could have points. The, the, the hippocampus is involved in the processing and storing of memories, and that apparently during this procedure his hippocampus was undamaged, so they couldn't like attribute it to that. Then they wanted to go with the diagnosis of psychogenic amnesia, which was the he, perhaps he had a traumatizing experience during this procedure, and uh, apparently it's it didn't follow suit. It it didn't match the uh, I guess diagnosis. They're like, nope, that doesn't they, work. Uh, what's another one? Uh, they basically don't know, right? Something happened during this man's root canal that caused him to lose his ability to record memories beyond yesterday, which is a terrifying prospect if you think about it. Like yeah. not being able to like this like almost like taking your life away right like if you can't so there's like store no short term memory right that's crazy. you always think it's long, yesterday long term wow. memory yeah or today you always yeah. think it's today basically it's which like that Drew, Drew Barrymore movie uh, 50, 50 first, first days, days. <laughs> yeah. so there's actually one of these where they believe that the the lady who it came out her her uh, psychogenic amnesia manifested itself after 50 first dates came out and they were able to trick her essentially 
by doing uh, tests that she had like taken in the past. Um, they were studying her for a while, and something happened where they were like, this, "Okay, like you got this from Fifty First States." You're, you're... Oh no! Right. So no. some of these amnesic fugue states appear appear to be based on you know the will of the the patient essentially. Um, well, if you believe anything, you can make anything happen. I mean, sure. look at the people uh, with the uh, placebo effect. Yeah. You yeah. Know, the placebo effect Good proves band. that, you know, placebo, yeah. Good band. Uh, another one that I saw was a lady who was like, um, she claimed to have woken up in her mid 30s. She had like a 15 year old daughter or something like a teenage daughter and like, you know, mid to late 30s. She woke up and she claimed to be 15 and that she had lost all memory of the last like, whatever, 20 years of her life. And that she couldn't understand why she, she, these people were, you know, depending on her, and she had these relationships with these people, and it was, she thought she was 15 years old, and then she wrote a book about it, and, and it's called Freaky but, Friday. But she, <laughs> she was also an, <laughs> she's also an author, which to me is like the ultimate, like, I don't know, it's a very cool media ploy to well, be like, I, Agatha Christie too, yeah, you know? that's true. She also wrote. Um, uh, was it something on the Orient Express? Murder. Murder on the Orient That's, Express. Okay. Nice Thank you. afternoon on the Orient Express. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Murder on the Orient Express, which was also a really good movie made recently with was Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, it was pretty good. Well, Johnny Depp. I thought this was interesting. Apparently, a uh, famous actor, Harrison Ford, is also a, uh, a, fugue. a, vi- a victim to Stop. amnesiac fugue. Uh, he's, uh, um, yeah, we all in, know what he, how he forgot things. <laughs> in March 2015, he sustained follow. serious injuries following a uh, that hospitalized him for a month following the crash of a World War II vintage aircraft oh, yeah. that he was piloting uh, when the engine failed. And his last memory of the incident was um, air traffic control uh, requesting or uh, suggesting a certain landing technique that would allow him to land this disabled plane. And he crashed it. And he has no memory of the incident or subsequent uh, for, I guess, a few weeks after. Wow. Um, Still a good what happened. landing, though. Any uh, landing well, I mean, you, yeah, you walked, walked away, away from, from is yeah. a good landing. He yeah. stuck it. <laughs> Uh, doctors told Ford that he was likely suffering from retrograde amnesia, which blocks access to memories of the events that occur prior to the injury. A um, lot of people don't remember accidents and stuff that they right been as in. it happens. Right, it seems like a very like chaotic state it, that you wouldn't. I think it's something that your brain probably does for you, so that you don't remember the trauma of the thing happening to you. So if it starts to happen again, you don't immediately like buckle and like. Mm-hmm. Okay. The brain will do some weird things to protect you. Yeah, it does. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. There yeah. is buries memories. It does all kinds of wacky There's stuff. There's a for weird you. like uh, I think like. You have like a natural DMT that gets released when you're, when you're dying. When you're dying, yeah, you and basically also start tripping out. some women also yeah. get it when they're giving birth, so they don't, they don't actually remember what? all the pain. So you yeah. get to trip on you get to trip birth, on so you girls girl. get it all, man. See, that's that's why, oh, yeah, so that's why they keep doing it all the time. I know they do it all the time just to get that buzz, man. So unfair. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> room just got warmer. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of I'm disassociative so out of body experiences. Yes. We just like to get out of our bodies for a second. <laughs> I don't blame it's you. so tumultuous. Who doesn't? Being legislated. You kid, thought you could skip quantum poetry class and hide from me. What oh, the God. hell is going sounds on? Sounds like quantum yes. poetry. Oh, that what does that even amazing. mean? Sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, totally cool though. I mean, totally cool I am quantum, quantum poetry. poetry. It's like words that go beyond dimensions. Basically, stuff. like Ant Man. Is this yeah, a ooh, space bullet? Nice. That bully definitely sounds like he has acne though, right? Yeah, for sure. Right? Like he's got like the back of the throat. Yeah, off, I can you know. hear it. Hey, I can still hear you guys. Are we? Oh shit. shit! Are we? Are we truants already? I mean, are we? Well, we didn't go enrolled? to class. We went to go hang out with the goths. How we have the gym? A class? How, we haven't registered oh, classes. Our yeah. first time here. I don't know. No, we're in go, school. I don't know. Well, just find is, a class and go into it. Well, this is where we're always completely confused. By this time, it usually changes the channel. Uh, guys, we are all wearing backpacks. Ah! Oh my god. Hey. Oh, does that have a oh schedule my god. in there? Okay. Uh, is there a I syllabus? Can, it would be I got another with D&D books. I got another with D&D books. See, I knew it. Oh, okay. Hey, you know, uh, Drew Barrymore, uh, you know, uh, was with Adam Sandler. Oh, Here's my, my favorite no, Adam Sandler movie. He's switched channel. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, you sick fuck? 
We could have gone somewhere on? else. We could have uh, gone somewhere else. He brought us back to this crap he's world. Like, anything would have been better than this. I'm going to get Seriously. fucking killed. He's under duress. Time to pay the space piper, nerd. <laughs> You got him, Prince. You got him. Just grab him. Grab him by the head. head. Yeah. Just head. head. What head. Just, Which head? Avoid the tentacles. Keep, one of them. keep yeah. your eyes open. Avoid the tentacles. Yeah. You're not avoiding the tentacles. 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 Serpentine! 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 You're small, you're small but quick. This is a massacre. Oh, this is horrible. I hate, I can't. Stop hitting myself. Yeah, he's making him hit himself with his own. Oh, this is hilarious. Even he thinks it's funny. Even he thinks it's funny. It's kind of horrible, but it's still kind of funny. Fight, 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 fight. Fight! It's not a fight, it's just a beat up. Yeah, it's just actually someone getting wailed on at this point. I can't join in on that chant. It's just. Kind of a lot of tentacle oh. slapping going on. Oh, I taste metallic. Well, don't put it in your mouth. What are you? Oh, Dude, God. what are you doing? He's, he's not even trying to do that. Don't even. He's not even trying to do that. You're making him do that. This he's isn't obviously an anime. confused by it. What the hell is this guy doing? You're sick, God. Not an anime <laughs> yeah, tentacle, not tentacle porn. No, oh, it's not. Stop! Ah, stop! Oh, he seems to be really kind of enjoying it at this point. Yeah. Well, don't do that if you want him to stop, because he's not going to stop. Wait, stop. stop. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe this is mistaken identity. Hold on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. He's still hear slapping. Me out. Stop. He's still slapping. Stop. Wait, hear me out. What? He's hear me out. lightened up a little bit. Here, don't take it away. I think you're confused. There you go, there you go. <laughs> you start to miss it after a while. I think this is, unfortunately now, mistaken identity. What what, you, after what all you this, what do you, what do you mean? Space you... Chad? Yeah. Why do you think I look like someone you might know? Because you're the mirror of being yesterday. No, that's false. No, it isn't. No, it is. It is. I, Something's going on. Be careful. Be careful. Angela, man, daddy, come you, on. We you were, like, uh, what were you? I saw you. I saw you. I saw you, uh, dude. We were next to, like, the Hadron Collider or something yesterday. Yeah. What? You're a nerd, too. I'm space not a nerd. Chad. Come over and say this in my face, Space is, Chad. Is no, don't, don't, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Is his freshman. name Space Chad or just Chad in this world? Like, does, <laughs> does he actually go by I'm Space Chad? Chad. I'm Space uh, oh. Chad. I'm Space Chad. Uh, okay. God, You're terrible, Space Chad. Angela, do you I really don't like you. For what it's like worth, you. I thought that was a great question, so yeah. thank you. Yeah, well, thanks. Even in space, you're Space Chad. Yes. Because if I wasn't in space, I wouldn't be Space Chad. You would just be Chad, Chad, right, but in I'm space. space, so I'm space Chad, oh my idiot. god. Have you, see, this space. is like, are you trying to argue with these motherfuckers? Like, <laughs> we call motherfucker, motherfucker. Have you guys heard of Identical Strangers? Is that like an album by like, you know, like David Bowie and like I would Bob say Seger? Like, no. The Who? No. Sounds like a The no. Who album. Angela Diavin. Am I gonna throw in a classic rock album? Yes. Possible? <laughs> yes. Um, I, I don't know. Freeze. Maybe it could have been Genesis. I don't know. <laughs> well, all three that are makes wrong. Makes sense, kind of. All three are wrong. Well, but identical Strangers was a. Uh, a actually, book. the Deep Purple album. It is was. It, really? it actually was. Is it really? Yeah. I was checking. I could hear the song in my head. I'm like, who the fuck is it? <laughs> Identical Strangers is a book written by Elise Shine when she found out she had an identical twin sister. Weird. So she wrote the book Identical Strangers, not to be confused with the beloved American sitcom that ran for eight seasons from March 25th, 1986 to 1993 on the ABC television network, starring, of course, Mark Lynn Baker and Bronson Pinchot. Of course, As Bronson Balky. Pinchot. As Balky. As Balky. Is that what people say when they meet when they say Valky? Is that what they, they go? Mean? Cut Valky. it yeah, out, Pinchot. right? Wasn't that something like yeah, that? I think anyway. I like Bronson so, Pinchot. Oh, on the wings of a dream. How do I know that? I've never seen this. <laughs> great. What? Standing. Something is happening here, man. I have something no special was happening in this room. What's going on? So, wow. Did we just I, start a Perfect Strangers? Or? I think you did. Identical Strangers is the story of Elise Shine when she met her identical twin sister, Paula Bernstein. But uh, the story that I would like to focus on also has roots in how and why these identical twins are reuniting. So it all takes place July 12th, 1961. A teenage mother gives birth to uh, four children one was stillborn of the three triplets they were then adopted by different families whoa and wait this, a minute so this was a natural birth this was a natural she, birth she had 
Quadruple. Quadruple. Yeah. I was like, what is yep. the four word Quadruple. in yep. Latin? Like, what's Quadruplets that? minus in one. space math is With hard. space math is <laughs> terrible. I want the quadruplets, but can I get them light? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why, why not? So she uh, she gave birth to three children. <laughs> so horrible. Who were all kind of like doled out by this um, prestigious adoption agency called Louise Wise. So it was L L O U I S E Louise Wise W I S E, and they these three children were given to an affluent family, a middle class family, and a blue collar family. It's like a Dickens story. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> what happened was uh, Bobby, and his name is... Bobby. <laughs> Robert? Robert. Yeah, so Bobby, who is uh, Robert Schaffron, he went to college, and the first day he stepped foot on the campus, people started coming up going... Hey, so good to see you again. Kissing him on on the cheek, hugging him, and he's what? like, "Wait, this sounds okay. kind of familiar. What just happened here?" And he starts walking through the the dorm, do 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 do, do and someone <laughs> knocks on his open door and says, "Oh my God, you're back, Eddie!" And he turns around and looks at his friend, who said immediately, "I was like, you're not Eddie," but it looked just like Eddie. The friend then had Bobby call his friend Eddie and say, my friend thinks that I look just like you. And on the other end of the line, he heard his own voice going, okay. <gasps> and he goes, were you born in New York City? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, were you adopted? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, was your birthday July 12th? And he goes, yes. And he goes, Stop. which adoption agency? And he goes, hold on. Ma. And he goes, it sounded just like me calling back. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, he comes back and says, Luis Wise. So it makes oh, international no news. Wow. Bob, Bobby and Eddie. So Eddie is, um, Bobby is Robert Schaffron and Eddie is Edward Galland. And they immediately make international headlines as these two long lost twins. That's crazy. Then David Kelman also phones, uh, I think, uh, the Galland family and says, my friends say that I look just like you, and they all said the hands, because like they're all you know like hand on shoulder, you know, photograph in every newspaper. The hands, and when he said he saw it, he was like, "Oh my god!" Raced out, bought another newspaper, saw the same hands, and he's like, "Those are my hands." Like they're giant claws, really? they're like, yeah, they these like, huge claws. <laughs> they were lobsters. <laughs> they were big. They were big boys, and uh, and then he called, and the Gallon family's uh, matriarch answered and said, "Honey," turns around and says, "They're coming out of the woodworks." So soon, oh my god! <laughs> overnight, the these triplets found out that they were separated at birth and this was an international headline story uh it made like international papers they were on the phil donahue show yeah. like every, when you're on donahue it's big time it's huge you know uh, abc you name it um i think cnn because this was in the 80s at the time early 80s um fake news they are overnight sensations but their family has questions so they arrange a meeting at the louise wise agency offices in uh, Manhattan, uh, I think Manhattan could be another borough, but they all were told, well, if you get presented with triplets, a lot of households can't take triplets. So we yeah. doled them out. Here's the kicker, though. Each of the families, the Gallon, the Kelman, and the Schaffron family, all had daughters that they adopted from the Louise Wise agency. So they all had prior Luis Wise agency adoptions. They're repeat customers? And now they are each getting a set of triplets, and they didn't know it at the time. It's like a BOGO. Oh, whoa. <laughs> They're having a BOGO special. So they were told if, you know, uh, it's really hard to just unload three bouncing baby boys to <laughs> one family. So they had to dole them out, and they're like, that doesn't make any sense because we would have gladly taken them. You know, again, there's one affluent family, one middle class, and one just blue collar, you know? And uh, and they said, well, you know, it doesn't work that way. One father, as he was leaving, said, oh, wait, I forgot my coat or his umbrella, walked back in and saw the Louise Wise agency opening up champagne and pouring themselves champagne oh. flutes. Yeah! 
I love what? that part. So they all smoke the same brand of cigarettes. They all have the same like in women. They all answer at the same time. True. They say true or yes, or they say definitely, absolutely. The same, the same inflection in their voice. When Phil Donahue turned around and said, look, they're even all sitting in the exact same yeah. At the same time, they all cross right over left legs, and the oh, audience weird. was like, "What?" So the the documentary that I watched that uh, CNN, go ahead and say it, Big news. Uh, produced is called <laughs> Three Identical Strangers." Uh, it came out in 2018. It's directed by Tim Wardle, and uh, you know, again, stars Edward Gallen, David Kelman, and Robert Schaffron. These three triplets. One of the most telling areas of the research is that. This was intentional. This was the Whoa. Jewish Board of Guardians. It's a hard chance. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was the most amazing reaction ever. Whoa. Jewish. Whoa. <laughs> so the. Um, I was going to ask, like, they were, were, were they all Jewish? Like, from, they were, like the Louise Wise. Yeah, like, or, that's a good question. Eight. So Louise Wise is a very prestigious Jewish right. family adoption center. Like, I was going to say all their last I never thought of there being a Jewish-centric Jewish adoption center. Which, but it makes, makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. 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 They were all doled out, you know, um, again, uh, by the Jewish Board of Guardians under the direction of a Dr. Peter B. Neubauer, who specializes in mental illness. Now, Elise Shine and Paula Bernstein... They under they found out during the making of this documentary that their mother had schizophrenia. When they went back and reviewed the triplets' biological mother, she was she had a lot of addiction problems. Okay. Unfortunately, one of the brothers, Eddie Galland, commits suicide. He was kind of bipolar. The understanding is that Dr. Neubauer were tr they were trying to document how each child was being up raised to document nature versus nurture right because oh, nice. they have a lot of things in common but again they all met each other at the age of 19 they were full-ass grown adults and they had a lot of differences um and it is an absolutely compelling documentary but uh, it doesn't end on a good note but there are arguments for both nature and nurture in this which i think is weird um Sorry if you mentioned this. Which family did Eddie grow up in? Eddie grew what up. What was his background? He was the middle class um, family with a disciplinarian father. Okay. And he uh, he had mental health issues. The craziest thing is that they were all documented and filmed at various points in their life. They mm -hmm. all lived within 100 miles radius of one another. That's and they were filmed crazy. doing tests for like aptitude tests and like things like that. Wow. And but the tests were actually part of the experiment. They didn't, the experiment continued throughout their lives. They didn't yep. know it. They're still coming back, checking on them, and they'd act like, oh, this is for your uh, school or something like that. No, it was from them so testing. So even them. their parents didn't even know that that's know. what they're doing. Yeah. There are still I, it's creepy as hell. Am I alone in thinking that that's just badass? It's not. It is. <laughs> it is creepy, but it's also like a really good science experiment, right? Like if you were to, someone it's, probably had that idea, but they're like, nah, dude, we can't like separate a bunch of triplets and twins from. That would be the only like, way to do on, it. You would my, have to do it secretly, like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it's yeah, that's hold tainted. my mochaccino, fam, and then you like like split up this entire yep. family of people, and then like monitor them their whole lives. It's it's, cool. it's draconian it's terrible. And, and terrible. Yeah, it's cool, but, uh, but draconian. This it's is cool. like this is really weird. Learn though. some stuff. There's probably six to eight other sets of twins or triplets in the United States born between 1960 and 1980 that don't know Ooh. they have someone else out there that looks just like them. So the documentary ends with, imagine walking down a, a street in New York City and turning the corner and it just goes black. And you're face to face with an Angela! I'm just well, she's used to that. This is to me all the time. This, I was her, just happened to her like five minutes ago. This is mistaken identity, and I'm just going to say this right now. I, I've never been here before. You have to please stop beating me up. Or if you beat me up, just make it a little harder. Pull my beard. Uh, <laughs> okay, this got really weird really quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but okay. Give we didn't call guy. you daddy yet. Chill I'm out. I'm waiting. Give me that, 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 give me that
Uh, guys, they're, they're, like they're, 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 they're yeah, going to be going at this for a while. They seem to be really like kind of likes it. Yeah, he's digging it. Maybe. Kind of likes it. It's strange, but just slowly back away. Oh, you're making me bleed now. What, what was that? Okay. Well, I Again, guess. didn't sound so negative. Yeah, didn't that sound like they're kind of almost a good time like kind of there. a declaration ah, of like. Fuck it. What? <laughs> okay, that's that definitely normal. was positive. That definitely okay. was very let's go, positive. Let's, should we get him and go, or should we just go? I, I, I don't know. Look, we, should we ask him? I mean, hey, you know, Fritz, you want to go? I mean, are you okay with this? What's uh, Fritz, the, you like right? this? Please get out of here while you can. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, take him off. <laughs> what? Jesus, I knew it. So this is what passes for nerd bashing in your corner of the galaxy space, Chad. Let me let me show you how it's done. Okay, here we go. You gotta just drag him. Drag him. Oh, 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 oh my really god! Man. What is he There's doing? Not not before. He's got him clutched by the head. Oh, He's right in his face, face to face. Yeah. Right. Oh. Just poke, so him, poke him, poke him, oh, poke him, poke him, poke him. It looks right so there. weird to see him and Fritz and Felix together. Know, it's not it's right. Very strange. You didn't think I'd let you continue this little adventure alone, did you, nephew? I've had fun watching you guys gallivant around. So much fun, actually, that I've decided to replace you. Charles. <gasps> what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, you're dead. He what has he done? him in the head. Honestly, he's the only that one. Was Felix head. stabbed he's Fritz in the fucking head. head. Right in the head. Right in the, right the temple. What the hey, fuck? Hey, he died as he liked to live. With a knife in his head? Well, Scared? I meant beforehand. You you know, the maniac. Problem. You're a maniac. It was pseudo-sexual for him. No! No! no. no. Running, we're okay. running. Okay. Werewolves well, are running. We're going. We gotta get. We gotta do. We gotta save Fritz, oh, man. Geez. We gotta get. Oh, this is handy, man. Really? Is it? Uh, you did more cardio. Did skip, oh, is totally. Is he already happening? I don't even remember what happened, man. What happened? He's still, like, He's good. He's he's alive. He's alive. He's, he's, guys, these guys. Uh, he's fine. His the knife is in his head. Oh. Yeah, they still got knife in his head. What's in my head? What happened? Don't nothing, take it out. You'll bleed out. Nothing. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Just relax. <laughs> take it easy. Go to sleep. Oh, that's, a that's a lot of blood. My brain. That's a lot of blood. Okay, look. There's got to be like a space nurse or a space doctor or a space surgeon. Why are we going to the doctor? So, what happened? Because you're uh, uh, you're fine. You're fine. We just want to uh, we want to show how fine you are to a space yeah, doctor. I want to get something She'll checked out. Flabbergasted by the amount of health that you have are displaying. You're kind of a miracle, actually. Always has been. He's alive. He's alive. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the he. Are you the he? That's, are you speaking you're, of yourself? I, 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 oh, no. He's gone into, oh, wait, he's he gone into fourth person. But is he oh, talking God. about Felix, maybe? Uh, it's oh, that's true. true. Felix is alive. And he's uh, uh, still. Okay, yeah. so. Yeah. That's why we're he? running so where? fast. Yeah, that's, no, that's where we're keep going. Keep it moving. Yeah, okay. This guy is heavy. I got. How come I'm the one carrying him? Did where Felix went? What happened to him? That guy just disappeared into the night. Man, daddy. What? Uh, Carry me. I am, and yeah, it sucks. It's what happened? Just keep moving. It it is, you're doing fine. Let's just keep you're on fine. going. Let's just keep, keep on going. Let's find the like a space up. nurse. Keep, keep your head. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Don't pull the thing that's in your head don't out. Don't touch that. Yeah, don't touch the thing in don't. your head. What happened to my head? Nothing. It's, nothing. Nothing. It's fine. Something got glued to it. Don't yeah. touch it. Yeah, my it's brain. irritating yeah. your skin. A lot of glue here. You're fine. Plenty of other people have been in your position before. Think about Gary Busey. Don't. Don't think about Gary Busey. It hurts to think about Gary Busey. Oh God. Oh, it's scary. Think about Gary Busey just for a minute, and he gets in your head. All of a sudden, he's like Gary Busey. I feel a lot of anxiety. It's very intense. You see weird chiclet teeth. Weird overstimulation all He's of a sudden. A he was in The Wrestler, right? No, yeah, no. Brain. Oh, yeah, his brain's totally wrecked. You can't tell. That? Mickey different. Rourke. That was, was Mickey, Mickey Rourke. Rourke. It's kind of like Gary Busey. He's got yeah. the teeth, right? Mickey Rourke. He's got the teeth. No, Gary Busey's got the teeth. Ow, my brain. Oh, your brain must be Stop really Stop thinking about Gary Busey. It's yeah. going to always rack your brain. Don't it doesn't matter what. There's been, there's been good head wounds in the past, like JFK. I mean, not, oh. Okay, not JFK. Don't think about JFK. Jeez. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What happened to my head wound? What the hell, man? Nothing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't remember a damn thing, damn. Here I am. Oh, God. It's Felix again. Oh, God. He's got another yeah. blade. He stabbed oh, him in the belly. Right there. Yeah. 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 He was over your shoulder. Oh, oh, we're carrying him back first that on your shoulder. Like, what is that? Christ. All right, like, just get, okay, come on. Okay, carry him like a bride. Just, I like got him. Bride I got carry. him. I'm running. Come on. I'm coming. He's going to be fine. 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 Oh, God, dude. He's bleeding real bad. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay, Fritzy boy. Oh, come on, Fritz. You can get this. You never had a brain. Don't worry about that. You're going to be fine. I think this so caring. It's not that bad. It's just a, it's not that bad. I mean, have you guys ever heard of, like, uh, like Rasputin? Yeah. Oh, see? Now your brain's working. That's good to hear. Now your brain's working. Kind of. Well, you're going to be fine, man. You're going to be fine. You're, you're, you're tougher is... than Rasputin, man. You're tougher than Rasputin. 
What's what's going on with Rasputin? Wait, what? Yeah, what what did he do? So Rasputin, also known as the Mad Monk, was born to a Serbian peasant family around 1869. Known as Grigory Rasputin, but what is called him Rasputin because that's pretty cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, eventually, he came to rise to power in Russia, and in some ways, kind of helped fall uh, the the be- the beginning of the end of the Romanov dynasty in Russia. And basically, he wanted to become a monk. Around uh, nineteen, around eighteen, actually, he decided to go into a monastery to look into being a monk, like a Buddhist monk, uh, a Russian monk. I don't know. Wait, Serbian monk. What is that? Orthodox? Uh, Eastern Orthodox? Yeah, they're probably Christian, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very Orthodox, actually. Yeah. Orthodox. Extremely Orthodox. Ooh, uh, like, not like a light yeah, smear of straight, Orthodox. Like, like straight up. Up yeah. there with the Orthodox. Straight up goat's milk Orthodox. <laughs> <laughs> straight from the teat. Yeah. <laughs> no pasteurization. On no, this. just straight in. But he didn't really take to it. Uh, he actually claimed that a lot of the monks were performing homosexual acts, and that they thought that they were more perverse than you know than anyone else. So it's he decided dog? to. Like, what are you? Is that like a something to aspire to? Like, dude, I'm more perverted than you. Now, uh, uh-uh, prove it. Oh well, I will. I guess you've yeah. never been to the gathering of the Juggalos. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're right. I have not. Very similar monastic lifestyles as your <laughs> early Eastern Orthodox. <laughs> Russian droning monks. music, not yes. a lot of sex. <laughs> Chanting, whoop whoop, yeah, etc. Change the uh, tapas brew for Fago. Fago yeah. Right. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, even right. back then they had it, man. They had it going on. But so he leaves the monastery, has uh, children, and then in his t- early 20s decides to become just basically a wanderer that uh, wanders around. He's you know becoming someone that's looking for yeah. their religion, looking for their nice. spirituality. Like and uh, then he starts to gain reputation as a mystic and a faith healer and becomes introduced to uh, Russian Tsar Nicholas II and his wife Alexandria who are look- looking for help for their son because they had a sickly son named Alexis who could answer any question when you said his name. In order to uh, nice. rub elbows <laughs> with the high and mighty in uh, like elite government circles, either start a cult or just say, I'm a mystic and then people be like, you should meet the president. Come on in. You, just gotta <laughs> read, you have to read them meet the right member you gotta of read that the room. room. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> also, I have a question. So he had kids, then he just went off on this quest. Yeah, he would he would leave for months and then sometimes oh, years at a time. Oh, that's suspicious. That's right. Yeah, he, he would leave his wife and kids. He'd be away for months Jeez. or sometimes kids years at a time. So you know what? Boring. A woman would never be able to do that. Nope. That would never be allowed to do that. Nope. I Correct. need to go spiritually find myself. No. <laughs> no. Nope. You gotta raise these children's. Thank you. Pack, do it. Pack See, your bag. So now you understand. <laughs> Oh, the room just got two Natural. degrees warmer. So murder you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I would the, record it and, and publish it as a podcast. <laughs> it would do great. So their son Alexis had uh, hemophilia, and so Rasputin took him under his wing and was going to use his curing powers to cure the boy of hemophilia. And after oh, several months, actually seemed to possibly cure his hemophilia. And that just gave him all the power needed. Then he just became entrenched with the czar, and especially the czar's wife. And one of the theories is that, actually, he just took the kid and wouldn't let any of the doctors of the time get near him. And so it was just his. Doctors at the time would treat hemophilia with aspirin, which is a blood thinner. What? Yeah, they use aspirin for anything. That's, you know, I mean, that's just the way of the time. like Windex. Basically. (laughs) Yeah. Get a bug bite, spray it there. Oh, yeah. So by keeping him away from the doctors and keeping him away from the aspirin, he kind of cured his hemophilia by not letting him take this blood thinning medicine. Oh, that's crazy. So that's how he got into power. But then when <laughs> World War I started and then Nicholas has to go off and control the troops and the wife is at home controlling domestic issues. And so since Rasputin, who now is being known as the Mad Monk, who there's all these rumors of him having sexual improprieties, even with uh, Nicholas's wife and having crazy parties and and being a drunkard. Fake news. And so people think that he has Alexandra's ear and so that he's actually controlling the government and having more influence than he should. Puppet uh, puppet leader kind of thing? Basically. They're they're like the Mad Monk is in control of our country while Nicholas is off fighting a war. Uh. Now, on the night of December 29th, 1916, a group of conspirators, including the Tsar's first cousin, a prince, and a few other people, they got together they're like, hey, let's kill this motherfucker. <laughs> so they invite him over for a party, just his cousin uh, invites him over for a party. And they're like, hey, have some cake and have some wine. 
Both the cake and the wine are slathered in cyanide. They said it was enough cyanide to kill a whole uh, monastery of monks. So they give him this, and he just starts eating the cake, starts drinking the wine. Doesn't affect him. I guess, <laughs> Doesn't affect I, him at all. I've spent years building up a tolerance to cyanide. Yeah, There's a thought exactly. that that's one of the things that there were people yes. at the time that were fearing a poison would take a little bit of poisons at all times just to build up a resistance. So that's one of the reasons they think, maybe. Or also, that since they fed him cakes, sugar and cyanide can bond and changes the chemical format of it so it won't be as toxic. Also with alcohol, too, which alcohol becomes sugar anyway. Right, yeah. so because of the fermentation. Once it gets inside you, who knows, everything could change. But anyway, <laughs> he's drinking away, he's eating away, he's getting drunk, but he's definitely not dying. So they get really confused. They're like, okay, well... Uh, why, gonna... why is no one else eating the cake, guys? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys! I've no, had no, two uh, cakes thick just slices. for you, buddy. No, um, Thank you very much. I'm on keto. I'm doing keto. He's fucking like like arms out, like dancing to Abba and Madonna. He's like, I'm gonna fucking live forever. Come on, dance with me. Like They're like cyanide or cannabis? Did you put it in the cake? Which one was it? Was that the Molly? Did you catch the dish yeah. of the Molly? This water is, tastes great. Last pune is lit. It just looks like that what a place. party that must have been. Yeah. You're trying to kill Rasputin, sitting around like, dude, are you serious? It's like, he's just like on the sugar high, That's like a five-year-old. That's the third piece of cake, fourth yeah. glass of wine. Who even eats wine with cake? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> true. Cake and wine. Mm. If it's a dessert wine. Like a port. Like a port. Uh, you're going you're gonna to have like several slices of cake and like, glasses of port. No, that'd be one disgusting. Evening. No. Who knows what he was doing? And I don't like know. a party thrown by you, but uh, thrown for you by your cousin. Like, hey, cousin, come over. For some wine other, and cake. Other political adversaries. It'd be weird if you're the cake. only one drinking all the wine and eating all the cake. It would definitely be strange. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, they get tired of him not dying, which gets really annoying when you're trying to kill someone, they refuse to die. So they shoot him right in the chest. Oh my god. Shoot That's him in quick. the chest. That's and it. he slumps in his chair, closes his eyes, and finally they're done. Until he stands up, bolts open his eyes, and starts attacking them. What? Just gets right out of the chair after drinking poison, eating, and a shot in the chest, gets up and just starts beating the crap out of him. So they shoot him again, another time in the back, still doesn't take him down, and then a final shot to the side of his head. Finally takes Rasputin oh down. Oh my god. No poison did it. Two shots didn't do it. Finally a shot to the head. It's all that sugar. And so they're yeah. like, just to make sure, they wrap his body into a, a rug, drag him down to a nearby bridge, and, and throw him in a concrete. freezing river. Oh, wow. Yeah, just to make Almost. sure. And so they find his body like three days later just to do a post-mortem and see. And that, and then there are all these rumors. Cause, because, like I said, he was a very hated character. And so there are rumors that, though he, t he was stabbed eight times first, but there is no stab wounds that they could see. Uh, they said that he cut off his genitalia. That's always with tyrants. They always just cut the junk off immediately, but they didn't cut his junk off. Kind of sends a message. But the guy did take a bunch of poison. It did not affect him. Took a shot to the gut and still came up fighting, and it took two more to take him down. So if there's one person you want to take after when it comes to being in a fight, I would say it'd be Rasputin. Um, so what happened to my head? You got oh, stabbed in it, buddy. Yeah, you got a yeah. little, uh, got little, a little pokey pokey. A little stabby a stab. Wow, my brain. Oh, no, it wasn't that great you, to you begin with. It's that. good. It's still You're good fine. though. Like, yeah, it's, it's still working. Listen, you're talking and You're, fine. Fine. you're able to speak and move. You moved your hand earlier. Why am I so awkward on Man Daddy? Ow, my. Uh, he's I'm carrying you weird. Carrying that's him, dude. Honestly, don't think of that as you. That's him. Your motor functions are a little. He's being really weird. Feels like my ass is on the top of his shoulder. It doesn't make sense, right? Thank you. You said hold him normal. I'm trying to like a baby. Are, I know, but he's flopping around like he's got no bones or anything. We just like a baby. Control him. We gotta yeah, swaddle oh, him in something like a towel. I have to swaddle a him sheet. like a swaddling Fritz now. Yes. Oh, that's, uh, I really did not sign up like for this. Like you're giving a caterpillar. Oh. Oh God. You know what? What? Oh, uh, Rasputin. Yeah, that's who we were just yeah, talking about, buddy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Look at him. Look at him remembering stuff. I'm getting stuff. my memories back. Want some more vodka, cool. buddy? Vodka be good, huh? Uh, I don't know. Right, yeah. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Have some more vodka. There you go. Oh, oh, you like that. There you go. There yeah, you are. are. You're be good, oh, boy. Good. It's the teacher's lounge, ever. so that's where we found the vodka. Oh, they got tons well, of it. Well, they there. have to. How do you, how are do you we think gonna, Oh, God, no. I'm not guys. judging them. I'm just letting you guys know. What happened to my... Oh, God. Oh, wait. Listen Stay with us. Stay with me, Fritzy. Stay with me, Fritzy. Come on, come on, come on, Fritzy. Come on, stay with me, Fritzy. No sleepy. No sleepy. Danzig has a new album coming out, Fritz. Have you heard? Have you heard? There's a new Danzig coming out. It's terrible. Danzig has a new album Jesus coming out. Jesus Christ, he's like, oh my what? God, what the fuck? Where did oh, you man. even come from? This, was, this guy just oh, pops up while he's still got here? a knife. 
Why does he still have a knife? You, so you think you're going to use that over here, buddy? Yeah. Creepy. Well, you don't get it now, do you guys? No, what? Like, evidently not. Well, I don't want to get a knife. Well, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to change the channel, and I'm going to do it right in your goddamn fucking no! faces. Hey, that's really you fucking asshole. rude. Don't. Hate you. Now, you've heard people talk about having embarrassing gas, but you know what's more embarrassing than gas? No gas. Everyone likes to be the life of the party while they rip a good one for their chums, but then when it's your turn, nothing. Well, now we've got just what you need. If you're not someone who says no to beans, try the new product. It's called Bean Yes. When you're in that quiet classroom, now all the attention's on you. Be the class clown and the cool kid with Bean Yes. Just listen to these testimonials. Since I started taking Bean Yes, I am now the life of the party. You know, it's crazy. When you snort these little motherfuckers up, you can get super high on them too. Bean Yes. Took Bean Yes at my grandmother's funeral, and I have to say that she was sent off with uh, decorum and a plum. You heard it here. Bean Yes. So you'll be tooting like Rasputin and making all your friends laugh along and then wonder, wow, what the hell did you eat? We know you're thirsty. Bean No. Bean Yes. It's a gas. Well, giving you gas.